Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome to my library. It has been a long time since I've been able to record anything. For those of you that don't know, I actually just moved into a new house and it has been a busy last six months for me, but I am back from my hiatus now and I'm back with one of my all time favorite Harvest Moon games, Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. I played this game all the time back when I was in college when it first came out and I'm so happy to be able to play it again. I know I'm a little late in getting this posted but like I said I did just move. By the way if I sound a little different compared to my other videos I'm actually on my husband Pinstar's setup right now because we're still waiting on some of our furniture. My desk isn't here yet so I'm using his microphone. It's a little different than mine so it's probably going to sound a little different for the first few episodes but once I get my stuff back I will sound more like me. But anyway, let's get started. I'm super excited to play this and we will make a new game. It all started with a letter. Can't remember how many years it had been since I got one. See, I had this friend once. We used to share all our hopes and dreams with each other and the sender of this letter, his kid. The letter was all about life in the city. The kid asked a bunch of questions about farming and at the end wrote, I'd like to try working the farm. To a city kid, I guess life in Forgotten Valley must have seemed appealing. Well, it took me by surprise, I'll say that much. I closed my eyes and saw my old friend smile, just like it was yesterday. Oh my god, this is bringing back so many memories. It takes guts to travel all the way from the big city to Forgotten Valley, a place most folks, well, forgot about. Oh boy, here we go! Okay. This, this face. The little smile is so cute. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go with that one. Wait. Oh, hang on. There we go. I'm pretty pale, so we're gonna go with that. And then... Oh, I gotta give myself purple eyes. Every game I play lately has had purple eyes. I think my character in Pioneers of Olive Town had purple eyes as well. Your face, skin color, and eye color can't be changed later. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we can do hair. Is that a short haircut? Let's see. That's so cute! That's cute too. I like this one, but I also like the pigtails. Those are really cute. I think I'm gonna go with the wavy hair though. And then, oh wait, I didn't choose it. Hang on. There we go. I know that my character in Pioneers of Olive Town had dark hair, so we can do the same thing. Or we can go blonde. I'm blonde in real life. Oh my gosh, the pink! What? It's so cute. She can have blue hair? I kind of like the blue hair, too. I like the pink, though, with the purple eyes. That's really cute. Let's go for it. Is that a dog? Because if that's a dog, you know I need to have that as my outfit. Yeah. Next. Enter on pronoun. Oh my gosh, they added pronouns. Okay, this is amazing. Let's put my name in. We'll be mystic as per usual. Because I don't think there were pronouns in Pioneers of Olive Town, right? I remember making that comment when we first started that game. And I was kind of hoping that they weren't going to lock you into a certain gender, but now it looks like they're letting you do that, which is awesome. No, oh, not he. There we go. Yeah, you can be they, them. Oh, that's awesome. Hooray for inclusivity. You'll have to stick with your name and pronouns. That is fine. Look at how cute I am. So you're mystic, huh? I'm really sorry to hear about your old man. He was a good guy. Gonna make a lot of friends in the next life, I bet. Yeah, so when I played this, when it first came out, and this was years ago, I was in college. I'm old, yes. I uh, I played as the guy, because at the time there was only the option to play the male character. Um, and then they added Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life for girl later on, but I did not play it because I had already played and finished this one as just is the male character so it's really interesting to play as a female character this time 
he was a good guy. Gonna make a lot. Oh, I already read that. I gotta say, though, you must take after him. No average young'un would want to pack up and come to Forgotten Valley of all places. Well, once you spend a little time here, I'm sure you'll figure out if it's really the life you want. Oh my gosh. All right, this is it. That pasture. This is the land your old man and I found. The buildings are run down, sure, but you can still use them. Soil's fertile enough to grow crops on too. See this pasture? If you spread some fertilizer on it, you'll have a place for your livestock to graze. So how about it, kid? Ready to take over the farm? Yes. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I'm sure your old man's cheering you on too. Come on then, might as well give you the grand tour. I feel like I kind of remember this. Here's the barn. This is where you'll raise cows, horses, and sheep. I'll take you inside later. I thought this game had goats too. Isn't that added later? Or am I thinking of a different one? Here's the shipping bin. Get to know it because it's going to be your best friend. If you've milk or any products to ship, put them in here. I'll sell them for you at the city market the next morning. If there's something you want me to buy, write it down in the ledger here. Uh, that's, yes, that's cool. Over there's your storage shed and your food storage. If your bag ever starts getting too full, you can throw your items in there if you don't need any of them. <laughs> always love that. Farming games always have inventory issues. I'll put the smaller items you buy and any profits you make here. Other folks might leave gifts or rewards around here too, so keep an eye out for those. The music's the same but different. I really like it. This is the coop. You might have guessed, but this is where you'll raise your chickens. And that there is one of your fields. You can plant seeds there, but you'll need a hoe to plow the soil first. Speaking of which, I got a few packs of seeds and some basic tools for you. Try using them when you get a chance. <gasps> Bubbers. Oh my god. Huh, guess a couple stray dogs settled in here and it looks like you've already warmed up. They've already warmed up to you. All right, all right. I'll let you keep one, but just one, all right? I ain't a huge fan of dogs. Excuse you. We can't be friends. Now go on and pick a favorite. Okay. Actually, so the pointier dog's ears are not super pointy, which kind of makes it look like my dog Aqua because her ears are kind of like floppy but they're not long floppy and her coloring is pretty much the same too just a little different yeah we're gonna go with the pointy eared dog because they look like my puppers all right then you're gonna name it or what i'm gonna go with my usual i always name my dogs comet after a dog that i had growing up so we are gonna do that there we go Sounds good. I'll try to find an owner for the other pup next time I head to the city. You better, Mr. Dog Hater. How dare. Guess I'll build the little one a doghouse, too. And this here is your house. I tried to fix it up a bit before you arrived, so you should be able to settle right in. Huh? Oh, my house? Yeah, Dog Hater, where do you live? See that cabin over there? That's where I live. Well, that covers the main facilities. Ain't much, but if you save up, maybe you can expand some of them. Oh, before I forget, I said we'd go into the barn later, didn't I? Well, it's later. Follow me. Don't you get a cow right off the bat in this game, or am I thinking... I don't know. I've played so many of these games at this point. You do. I bought you a cow as a welcome present. Her feed bin's all set up over there. Oh, and she'll need a name, too. Gosh, you gotta come up with names so quickly. Um... Uh... Bessie the cow. I, I'm so original, I know. So original. Okay. Bessie, huh? I like it. She's our first animal, so take good care of her. She gave birth about 10 days ago, so she'll produce plenty of milk. As long as she's healthy, you should be able to milk her twice a day. Mm. 
I think that about sums up the farm. Oh, wait. I've got to decide on a Oh, we've got to decide on a name for it. Any ideas? Yes. It's going to be Library Farm. Because that's what it always is. I think. Didn't I name it Library Farm in Pioneers of Olive Town too? I don't remember. I need to get back to playing that at some point. Library Farm, huh? Has a nice ring to it, sure. While I've got you, I might as well introduce you to the locals. I'm no social butterfly, but a young'un like you is sure to charm the heck out of them. Ready to go? Sure. Hmm? What's the matter? I'm ready. Alright, let's get to it then. I mean, I guess you can skip it, but it's been so long. We gotta reintroduce ourselves. This here's the Layover Inn. Tay runs the place with his wife, Lou. Their son, Rock, lives with them too. Rock is one of the bachelors, if I remember correctly. Oh, and there's a girl named Nami who's staying up above the second floor. On the second floor. This is Gary and his wife, Nina. This is Chris. Doesn't she have a son? Yeah. This is Chris's husband, Sully, and their son, Hugh. Look at how cute Hugh baby! There's Muffy. Gavin here is the owner and head barista at the Bluebird Inn. Oh, they changed her name! Molly helps him out part-time. Her name was Muffy in the original. I could see why they probably changed that. I think I prefer Molly, actually. Romana here owns the villa where she lives with her granddaughter, Lumina. Their butler over there is called Sebastian. Look at her little umbrella. Or I guess it's a parasol. Yeah, I think this guy's a bachelor too, but I can't remember because originally they weren't usable as bachelors because you only played a guy. Oh, the guy playing guitar? That's Gustafa. He's a real character, always strumming some tune or another. That guy over there is Gordy, a man of few words, but a real passionate artist, apparently. Celia! That's Vesta. She runs the agricultural farm here. Over there is Matthew, her little brother. Ce oh, Cecilia. Why did I call her Celia? Helps with them. Helps them both with farm work. They sell seeds here, so take a look at their stock when you get a chance. Oh man, he looks so much better than he used to. He had such a weird pointed face in the last game. A few other folks live in that direction. We've got the twins who craft fireworks and an oddball scientist. Best not to ask about his experiments. Plus... There's an archaeologist staying in a tent up by the waterfall there. He and his assistant dig up all sorts of weird stuff. All right, that should cover everyone. I'm sure you're exhausted. It's been a long day, so take it easy for now. If, if you think of any questions for me later, don't hesitate to ask, all right? Huh? Oh, there's something I forgot to give you. This camera belonged to your old man. Ain't the newest model, obviously, but it does the job well enough. Let's try taking a test photo real quick. Was this a thing from the old game? I truly don't remember. You can use it whenever you're feeling uh, photographic. Now get some rest, kid. You've earned it. Oh, never seen a nature sprite like that before. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Hey, hey, who could you be? Beats the heck out of me. Far as I know, we're the only nature sprites in Forgotten Valley. Heh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what are we looking at then? Good question. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Mystic? Gotcha. So you're a nature sprite named Mystic. Roger that. The name's Ace. Nice to meet ya. I'm Jack. Nice to greet ya. 
And my name's Hart. Let's all be friends, okay? Oh my gosh, it's all coming back to me. Beginnings. So yeah, what makes this particular Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons game different than the others is that it is chapter based. And you're, there is a story to follow, um, unlike the others where you can kind of just do your own thing. There are certain things that have to get done at the beginning of this or at, by the end of this chapter. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. You also start off with a kitchen, which most games do not do. Here's the six hour forecast. While we do have some light cloud cover today, the weather should be mostly sunny. Hello, it's time for the Daily Dairy. Today we're going to talk about feeding cows. Let's see what questions Quinn and Avery have for us. Oh, whoops. Hang. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay. Quinn, what do cows eat? Cows eat fodder, of course. It's best to feed them twice a day. Twice a day? Wow, but what about snacks? I'd be the worst ever if I couldn't have snacks. Snacks are pretty great, Avery, and cows love them too, as long as they're bovine friendly. But cows can't live on snacks like fodder plus alone. Make sure you feed them proper fodder they need too. Thanks for tuning into the Daily Dairy. Okay. I think this is just the, m oh no, this is the fishing channel. Well, I don't even know if I have a fishing pole yet. Scott, Dewdrop Village. That's one of the other games, I think, right? Let's see, fish, what fish? You gotta have time cons time to consider landing lurkers when I got wild bears and monkeys stealing my catches? Because of that, I'm plumb out of food and I'm starving. What's worse, I slipped and fell in the river because I was feeling woozy. These mountain streams are cold, man. My mom didn't even bring a lunch on this trip. I should have known this was going to happen. Okay, uh, I think we're going to get the gist of this. Thanks for the report, Skylar. And thank you, dear audience, for tuning in. So, yeah, I, I don't think we can fish yet. Your luck today is amazing. Honesty is the best policy. The elderly might bring you some happiness. I forgot that they had a... They had a um, Whatchamacallit. Uh, my brain horoscope channel in this one. Like they do in Stardew. Hey, Mystic, wait up a sec. Before you go out, don't forget to check Takakura's notes. You can find them on the side table. Yeah, his notes have lots of helpful stuff in them. Check them out before you go. Okay. Valley life. You've got lots to learn about farming. There ain't much, but I hope these notes will answer more questions. First, you got to learn how to make a living. Try to sell any crops you pick. More profits mean more facilities. Walk around the valley and chat up the locals, too. Give them enough gifts and they'll take a liking to you. Seasons in the valley. We've got seasons, four seasons here. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter in that order. Each season lasts about 10 days. Oh, that's right. The seasons are super short in this game, but I do think the days are a lot longer. So, like, each day is going to pass much more slowly than they would in, like, Pioneers of Olive Town or Stardew. So that's why there are so few of them. Which means that I actually have to try and get a spouse pretty early on because you have to do that in order for, at least that's how it used to be. I'm assuming it's the same way. You have to have a spouse by the end of the first chapter. I just can't remember if the first chapter is four seasons long or eight because they, they each have a different time span. And you actually do age up in this game, which most of the other Harvest Moon Story of Season games you get, that's not something that you have to worry about. Each season lasts 10 days, so use your time wisely. The year goes by faster than you might think. We have a festival for each season. Check your calendar for more info. There are good times to socialize. Farm work takes a ton of stamina. Be careful you don't overdo it. Eat proper meals and get plenty of rest. If you work too hard or get hungry, you're going to lose your stamina pretty fast. Be sure to eat a healthy meal. Potential partners. If you plan on staying here for the long haul, you'll probably want to find a partner to spend your life with. So it is still a requirement. Hopefully you find somebody who really clicks with you in your first year here. Go get him, kid. So it is the first year. Holy heck. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there a calendar? Oh, you can see how much they like you from here. So when I first played this, I married Cecilia. I absolutely loved her. I think I think Lumina is is married is a marriage candidate now. She wasn't originally in the first game. Matthew Rock. Oh wait, so 
Oh yeah, okay, so the people that you can marry are the ones that have affection. So yeah, Lumina is a marriage candidate now. Who else? Wait, oh, I haven't talked to the musician and Nami and uh, Gordy. I think they're also marriage candidates. I don't know if there's anybody else that got added. <gasps> Bubbers, hi. Do I have to feed the dog in this game? I think I do. But I don't have anything right now. Okay, so let's go take care of the cow. Oh, hi. What's up? If there's anything you're unsure about, I'm here to answer your questions. Some things are better learned by doing, though. Wouldn't hurt to wander around the valley and chat up some folks either. You'll probably learn a thing or two along the way. If I'm not around, check the notebook I left in your house on the side by the ta ta side table by your bed. It's got a bunch of notes on the farm. Now, I know I'm going to sound like a real pain in your rear for asking this, but you should settle down and get married as soon as you can. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. You cannot progress in this game without getting married in the first year. Please do not forget it. The game will tell you 8,000 times. It was your old man's dream to run a farm with his family. So just keep that in mind. This is all I'm saying. Yeah, you literally can't progress the game without that. Do I have all of my... I don't remember. I have to remember how to open up the bag. So wait, how? Wait, huh? How, how, hold on. I remember. There's a way to do this. Call horse, call dog. No. There we go. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. These are one of your fields. If you want to find out more about raising crops. I did. Don't you make me go back there. I read them. Oh, no, I didn't. These are different. Uh, proper crop care. For crops, till, till your fields with a hoe before sowing seeds. Make sure you sow them in the right season, too. Each crop you grow is one of the three categories. Basic fruits, veggies, and root crops. And tree crops. Crops thrive in different seasons, so make sure you read the labels and plant your schedule. Plant? Plant? Oh, I got it. Plant your schedule. <laughs> Fruits, veggies, and root crops need water daily if you want them to grow, but trees grow just fine without it. Keep an eye on the shade and color of your soil. If it's lighter, that means you, your crops could use a drink. And be careful when planting trees. They need space to properly grow, so leave plenty of room for them. Yeah, if I remember correctly, when I played this last, I kept one field for trees and then the other field for the rest of my crops, and that way I just kind of kept the trees out of the way of the other crops. The fields. You've got two small fields right now. You could probably make an amazing field out of that space in the back. Soil quality, Soil quality varies between fields. The field next to the coop isn't too fertile, but the other one out is a bit better. Some crops only grow if the soil quality is good, so be sure you've got the right soil for the job. Don't just plant seeds all willy-nilly. Some crops only grow in certain seasons or soil types. If you want to know the ideal conditions for growing a crop, examine the bag of seeds before you sell them. If your crops only grow in certain seasons, plant them as early as you can so they don't wither away. Yeah, this one is actually much more like involved. If plowed crops can, this soil isn't very fertile. And then this one is, maybe I didn't actually do. See, I think some of these become fields later. It's been so long, I don't remember. Okay, uh, let's see. Well, what I should probably do then is inspect what I've got. How do I do that? Examine. If cloud crop, oh no. How do I examine this? <laughs> Hello? Oh wait, will grow from spring to autumn, grows in all soil types, grows quickly. Grows in all soil types, but needs a wide enough space, begins flowering in summer. Okay, so yeah, the apple seed can come over here, but I need to grab the hoe first. Now, if I, I think it can't be planted in a corner, right? But it needs a wide enough space. Like I'm pretty sure it needs to go here. I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I think it does. I just, I don't want to waste space if I'm wrong. Let me just try putting it here and see if it works. It might yell at me. 
Oh no, you can put it there. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, I see how this works. So they basically just take up the spot. Wait, why did I put the tree? I could have put the tree in the other one. I don't know why I did that. I was overthinking it. All right. So let's put... How many seeds did I have? Five. Okay. I may need to eventually move that tree, but we'll deal with that later. So if there's five, I, I can't remember if this is the game where you have to have like a space or if that's just Harvest Moon 64. I don't know. I was going to save the fertilizer for the grass. Maybe. Oh, wait, you can put the fertilizer on later. Okay, never mind. Now I have to water those. Can I jump in this game? Oh, I can. This space is for your animals. If you have any questions, Takakura's notes might come in handy. Keeping livestock. We've got a barn and a coop. If you want me to order animals, write it in the ledger and I'll bring them here. Every animal needs to be fed. Feed them daily and you'll get plenty of byproducts like milk and eggs. Animals love to be brushed and snuggled too. Do that daily and you'll get higher quality byproducts. If you're going to run this place, you'll need cows, sheep, and goats. See, I thought they had goats. Goats come later. A horse might be good for getting around too. You can get cows and sheep, but you'll have to pay to buy, or you'll have to buy goats from Van the Peddler during spring. Some animals come in different varieties. With cows, you can make your pick from normal, brown, marble, or star. Oh, wait, that's right. The star cows give like much higher quality milk. Different cows produce different varieties of milk, so try play raising as many as you can. I'm glad they kept that in the game. I liked that part. Livestock are raised in the barn. When you get a, first get an animal, you'll want to pick a spot for its feed bin. The barn fits eight animals, but when you expand it, it'll fit up to 16. The barn has a fodder dispenser, and any grass you cut gets stored there. You can put fodder in there, too. Wait. There's also an isolation space for pregnant animals. Put them there right before they give birth. Barn animals eat fodder. Cows need to eat two meals a day, but sheep and goats only, only need to be fed once. You can feed animals by putting fodder in their bins or giving it to them directly. If the weather is good, you can put your animals out to pasture and they'll eat the grass out there. Fodder plus can be given to barn animals. It'll boost their moods and help them stay happy and healthy. Baby animals need mother's milk too to grow strong and healthy. You'll need to hand feed the bottles to them. Oh, that? Was that a thing? I don't remember that. Barn animals can be let out to pasture. They love to graze when the weather's good. It's great for their moods and you won't need to feed them either since they'll eat on their own. But if the weather turns bad, send them in the barn ASAP and it'll do an, or it'll do a number on their health. If you want to bring your animals in or out of the barn all at once, I recommend using the bell. Don't just feed your animals and call it a day. Give them all the love and care they deserve and make sure they're happy. Animals love being pet and brushed, but keep in mind that you can't do any of that while they're napping. Female barn animals can get pregnant and give birth. That'll, that'll, that, bleh, bleh. that process will be an important part of your farm life. That's right. You can get male, you can get bulls in this game. And that's actually like, you actually have to have the male counterparts in this game. You can't just use like the magic pregnancy potion like you do in the other games. Like you actually have to have a male bull in order for your cows or, you know, sheep or whatever to get pregnant rams, I guess. Um, That'll be an important process in your farm life. This is especially true for cows and goats. After three days of mother's milk, they'll produce more milk for 20 days. To breed your animals, you'll need a male and female of the same type, or you can order breeding from the ledger. Animals will give birth about 20 days after they've become pregnant, so plan ahead and be prepared. Be sure to isolate the pregnant female right before she gives birth. Gotta make sure she stays safe. For cows, isolate the mother when her udders turn red. Oh, I don't remember if that was a thing. Is that new? Isolate goats and sheep when they're sheep when their cheeks turn red that's so cute baby animals newborn calves take 10 days to reach maturity while kids and lambs will take eight days take good care of them feed baby animals their mother's milk not only will it help them grow but it'll also strengthen their bond with you milking cows and goats produce milk cows can be milked twice a day while goats can be milked once a day mother's milk is produced for a few days after an animal gives birth be sure to feed the ba it to the baby animal for 20 days after the birth, an animal will give more milk than usual. After that, you'll have to have her give birth again. You can get a cow, you can milk a cow every 10 hours or so, which means you can milk them twice a day, so plan accordingly. 
shearing. Both rams and ewes give wool as long as they're well fed. It takes about five days for a new coat of wool to grow in. Happy, healthy sheep will give higher quality wools to be sure to properly care for them. Birds. Chicken produce, chickens produce eggs, but with our coop, you can accommodate other egg-laying birds too. Ducks, right? All birds raised in the coop will eat from the shared feed bin. The coop can house eight birds, but if you expand it, it can hold up to 16. The coop has a large feed bin and the birds eat on their own if it's, if it's full. You can hand feed them like cows. Oh, you can't hand feed them like cows. The coop's also got an incubator. If you leave a fertilized egg there, it'll hatch after a few days. I think it's the same thing with the chickens. You have to have a male in order to have a fertilized egg. Birds eat, you guessed it, bird feed. If the coop's bin is out of feed, you can order more. If the weather's good, you can let your birds outside and they'll find food on the ground to eat. Putting birds to pasture. Birds can be let out to graze on the farm. Take them out when the weather's good. Birds love the great outdoors and you won't have to feed them either. But when the weather's bad, come and get those birds back in the coop. Random snow will put them in bad health. You can pick up birds to bring them in, so don't, but don't hesitate to use the bell in front of the coop either. Bird care. Don't just feed your birds and be done with it. Be kind to your birds and they'll lay good quality eggs for you. Eggs. Well-fed chickens will lay eggs daily. If you end up owning any other birds, they'll lay eggs every other day. So wait, they're saying any other birds. So it sounds like it's more than just ducks. I remember ducks. I don't remember anything else. If you raise a male and a female bird of the same type, the female may lay fertilized eggs. To hatch a fertilized egg, you put it in the incubator or let a bird warm for the egg, warm the egg for a few days. Hatchling will take about five days to mature. Remember, only adult females will lay eggs. Whew, that was a lot of information. Okay, so I don't, cur oh, I do currently have grass. Okay, good. So I can let my cow out. Because it's currently a nice day. Now, where are you? Do you just appear or do, oh yeah. Oh, you're sleeping. Oh, you're so cute. Um, So it said something about putting the fertilizer onto the field. So I wanna see. So maybe I'll do that twice. And then I'm gonna use the rest. Wait, let me say hi to my cow. Bessie looks healthy and content. Pet. And now, so you're outside, so you don't need fodder. Although if I do that, she'll be happier, right? Oops, wrong button. Okay, now I have to water my crops, which I probably need to fill it. How do I know how much it has? Because it doesn't seem to have any sort of indication of that. Hmm, I guess I'll just have to figure that out. Because I don't see anything anywhere. All right. I think I did everything I needed to do. Cow should be okay for now. Oh, wait, I can milk you? Wait. Yes, I can. Wait, why are you... I'm sorry! Why did you suddenly fall asleep? Why? <laughs> okay. I guess I'll try again later. Wait, are you up? Are you up? Can I, can I do it now? There we go. Oh, I got a lot of milk. All right. So now I can sell that. I have to see if I need to water the tree at first or if it's good. Oh, maybe I do. All right. Now let's go to the shipping bin. What is this? Is this it? Wonder discovered. Hey, 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 we found, we found, nice to meet you, nature sprites, which means you reached chapter one beginnings. You found one of the wonders so far. Huh? A what now? Expendable deposit box. Oh, can I pet the puppers? Comet has a fluffy tail. Okay, sit down. Train. Huh. Oh! What? Excuse you, this is adorable. Was this a thing? Oh wait, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh my God, this is so cute. 
Oh my god. Okay, I love you so much. What is this? Storage. I don't want to put it in storage. Shipping bin. Oh, shipping bins here. Okay. There we go. And we'll make some money. I do not want to order anything yet. Oh, you can get a pond. I believe that's for the ducks. Processing room, fertilizer maker, coop, upgrade, fertilizer spreader. That's nice. I don't think that was in the original game. All right, so I think I did everything on the farm. So how do I get out of here? Right here. I'm gonna go talk to people because there's a few people I haven't actually met yet. There's Molly. I feel like those heels are very impractical for this town. Hello there, Mystic. Since you're here, do you have time for a quick chat? I just adore this view. It's always helped me settle down. The rushing water, the gentle breeze. You just don't get this in the city. I am so dang cute. Look at me. That's where I used to live, you know. But some things went sour and they ended up moving to Forgotten Valley. Every once in a while when I'm starting out at the river, I think back on... Oh, staring out at the river. I think back on all my old heartache. <laughs> Just kidding. The clean air in the valley has done wonders for my skin, so I like to make sure I spend some time outside every day. Here, see for yourself. I hope you're using sunscreen. Thank you, Mystic. You're such a sweetheart. We really should get to know each other better. I feel like I like I feel like you and I are on the same wavelength. She's super cute in this game. Until next time then. I don't remember much about her story because I didn't I didn't date her in the last game. I, I was like, I loved Cecilia. Well, actually, let's go talk to her. I wonder if she's around. I remember the brother being kind of a jerk. I don't know if that's still the case. Why'd the weather, why'd the music change? That was weird. All right, well, I saw the sister. I don't remember her name. Vesta. Hey there, how's farm life treating you? If you ever need crop seeds, come find me. I'm more than happy to share the extras we have. Anyway, if you grow crops, you'll want to ship them out to the city. Just don't steal away my clientele, all right? <laughs> oh, so you're looking to buy something today? Maybe. What do you got? Great. We got plenty, so take your pick. We got tomato seeds, watermelon seeds, Strawberry seeds, melon seeds, and turnip seeds. Actually, it probably wouldn't hurt to get a little of each. Oh, and the B stands for the the rating of them. Ooh, so maybe I should put some fertilizer on the apples because if I remember correctly, the trees last. So we want to actually have them as good quality. Um, We already have tomatoes, so let's get... Two watermelon. I, I might add more later. Wait, could I have done that all at once? Maybe not. This is going to take a while. <laughs> not yet. All right, so we got our watermelon. We'll get some strawberries. I'm just going to start with two each, just because I want to make sure I have enough money for everything. I also want to get some fertilizer for my apple tree. No. This is going to take so long. I wish I was able to just kind of do this all at once. I might buy more than two turnips, though, since they're so cheap. No. Keep going, Vesta. Keep going. All right. We're going to take, like, maybe six turnips because they're so cheap. Oh, yeah. And it ends up being the same amount as the other stuff. So that works out. No. Potatoes. Give me two. And then I will take some fertilizer. No, I am not, but I am almost done. 
Um, let's get a whole bunch of that. Maybe we get like 10. Yes. I can't remember if there's ever a way to make your own fertilizer in this game. You done shopping for now? Yes. I can finally stop bugging you. Thanks a bundle. Come back if you need anything else, all right? Okay. Where's your brother? Is there a way to get into the greenhouse? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think maybe there's one cutscene with the brother in there. Or maybe Cecilia. I don't know. Is there any way into this one? I think this is... Oh, this is like their storage area. Oh, so this is who she like sends stuff out to. So she sends tomatoes to the Layover Inn. Potatoes to the Bluebird Cafe. Cool. All right, let's go find Cecilia and Matthew, his name is, right? I should know that. That's my brother's name. <laughs> Here they are. Vesta puts more love and care into her crops than anyone I know. That's why our produce tastes so good. That aside, did you want to purchase anything from us today? No, thank you. I actually just bought everything from Vesta. That's fine. Come back again soon, okay? You're always welcome. I love you so much. Okay. He's actually kind of cute in this game. He always looked so strange in the original game. Ugh, working the fields tires you out. Anyway, are you here to shop? Nope. I'm good. Well, if you're sure, come again anytime. Okay, so we talked to them. Let's go see if we can find other peoples. Oh, here, there's some flowers to pick. I bet you I can start giving gifts to people. I have to be good about that. Take. 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 Oh my gosh, there's so many. I hope people like these because I'm about to start throwing them at people. You are all getting a flower and you are going to like it. I don't care. Wait, there's more flowers. What are these? Goddess drop flower. Can I pick it up? Or am I out of space? Oh, I just had to switch. Okay. I have so many flowers. Oh my gosh, there's so many flowers. Hello? Come on. Come on. I believe in you. You can pick this up. I, I really believe in you. There you go. Now, the other thing I remember is back in the day, there used this path here used to lead you to, I believe, Mineral Town. Right? It might be nice to visit one of the faraway towns across the pass for a change of pace. The trip should take about six hours. Uh, not right now. I think it used to take you to Mineral Town, though. At least... I'm pretty sure it, take, it took you to Mineral Town. It, it's been a while. Okay. Let's give a flower to... Whoops. There was something I wanted, so I decided to post a request on the bulletin board. Exchanging items is so convenient that way. I'm glad we set it up. Oh, cool. All right, here. Oh, wait, that's so delightful. How lucky you are. It's yours. You really mean it? You're too kind, Mystic. I'll take very good care of it. Cool. All right. Here, would you like a flower too? Well, well, I really like what you've got there. Could I uh, take it off your hands? Sure. You're sure? Thanks. I, I didn't read that whole thing. It's okay. I, my whole, my, is there a way up there? Is that, is that stairs? What even is that? Because I thought Cecilia used to live upstairs. But maybe they got rid of that because you can see what her heart level is just from... You know what? I think I'm going to go plant this stuff and then I will go and do the rest. After I see this cutscene. Yo, what's up? Wrong way, bud. Over here. Oh, it's Rock! Playing hooky from farm work to go on a stroll, huh? I see how it is. Hey, hey, I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. You looked like you were having a staring contest with the river, but I figured you were probably just overworked or something. Not everyone gets this level of concern from a stud like me, by the way. Just saying. Oh, dear. I forgot. He is the Alex of this game. Anyway, listen, you've got to relax your shoulders. I've never seen anyone so tense in my life. 
If you don't take time to chill, life's gonna chew you up and spit you out. Come on, let's hang out and shoot the breeze. Oh, I know that look. You're thinking, wow, this guy's so cool. I gotta know more about him, right? And, well, first of all, thank you. I'm flattered, really. Second of all, you're in luck, because I'm happy to reintroduce myself as many times as you need. Oh, dear. The name's Rock. I live at the layover inn with my parents. Gotta be a good son and watch over him. You know how it is. Oh, but that's easy stuff. We gotta dig deeper. Uh, I'm busy. Let me tell you a few of my favorite things. Hope you're ready for this. I'm all about taking it easy. No work, no pressure, no nothing. Just me, myself, and I. Living the dream. Oh, you sound wonderful. <sighs> People do whatever they want in Forgotten Valley. That's what makes it awesome, you know? So you'd think all play and no work lifestyle would be chill here, but everybody's got a problem with it. And I'm just like, why? That is pretty... He who doesn't work doesn't eat. True. Aw, oh, come on. You're one of them? Everybody says work is so important, but I do not get it at all. Well, you do you. I'm going to live my best life, and there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. Catch you around, Mystic. Ah, uh, bye. Yeah, so I'm not interested. Nope. All right, let me go plant my stuff now, and then I will deal with greeting people, just so I have a little bit more room in my inventory here. Hi, pooch. All right. I think so everything said it was fine in any grass or any soil right grows in all soil grows in all soil all soil all soil oh wait shoot i grew i got turnips but we can't grow them yet wait summer to winter yeah i can't grow turnips yet i bought them and i can't do anything same with melons oh i'm so smart okay so I have to put the melons and the turnips away, but I can plant everything else. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Right, so you go. And you go. Everything else can stay. Yeah, so uh, now that I think about it, I don't actually think you need to space out your crops. It's just the trees. Oops, what have I done? Yes, yes, I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. So I have what? Two, two, four, six. I had to plant six things. Let me just double check that these are all spring. Yes, okay. So two, four, six. Okay, now we can get the seeds. Oh, wrong button again. I'll get there. We'll do the potatoes here. We will do... What am I doing? Okay. Strawberries. And watermelon. My energy is looking pretty good so far, too. Now, I think I'm gonna use fertilizer on the watermelon because I believe that's the most expensive one. And then I'm gonna go throw fertilizer on my tree if I can. I can. Okay. And then I need to water everything. Oh, this stuff dissolves pretty quick, doesn't it? That's okay. I forgot that it did that. It's not like Stardew where the fertilizer just lasts the entire time. Which I guess makes sense. All right. Now I can go and talk to people. So this is his house, right? Yeah. So what do you think of the house? I think it's real cozy personally. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do you like flowers? Apparently some of the wildflowers here have weird effects on crops if you know what to do with them. Oh, I can't give you anything? Okay. Let me go find somebody else then. Oh yeah, let's check the bulletin board. Because this is new, I think. Making tomato salad. Hi, I'd like tomatoes to make salad with. Most of the ones on the farm are for our clients, so I can't ask Vesta. Nine days left. Reward five eggs. Okay. 
Oh, milky soup? Oh, hang on, my headphones are falling. I'm using my husband's headphones and they're a little big for me. So they're falling off my head. Um, I wonder if I can make that with milk. Cause if that's the case, I wonder, can I take a thing of milk out of the shipping bin? Let me go see. I still have to meet Gordy too. Is it me or are the days actually going a lot faster than I thought? Cause 10 days is real short. Oh good, I can take one out. Okay, let me see if I can make milky soup. I hope this is all I need. I don't want to waste anything. Yes. Let's see how this goes. I think I did it. Milky soup. Sweet. Okay, let's go give that to Gordy. Or do I bring it to the message board? Oh, looks like I've got another cutscene. She's so cute. Hi there, Mystic. Sorry for the sudden visit, but we had some leftover crops after the harvest, so we wanted to share some with you. Oh, thanks. You have fields on your farm too, right? Raising crops is wonderful. I've never done anything more rewarding or fun, but it definitely challenges you to do your best. Is there anything you're having trouble with? If you have any questions along the way, don't be afraid to ask. I'll do my best to help. It's no trouble at all. I'm just happy there's another person around who shares my passion for crops. I hope you and I can be good friends. You said it, Cece. Helping our neighbors is what we do best. Hey there, Mystic. Hello. Ah, I must have lost track of time. We started chatting about the farm. It's fine, it's fine, no worries. Cece hasn't had too many other folks she can talk shop with, so to speak, but now you're here. When she heard you were coming to the valley, she was thrilled. Bursting at the seams to meet you, really? <laughs> Vesta! Whoops, might have said a bit too much. Still, I hope you and Cece get to be like two peas in a pod. Okay, I'm calling her Cece from now on. This is so cute. I'm so glad, Mystic. I'm sure the two of you have a lot to talk about, but we don't want to overstay our welcome now, do we? Oh no, I suppose we shouldn't. We can talk again next time. You're f next time you're free, okay? I might marry her again. She's just so cute. Vesta, is something wrong? Nah, just thinking is all about Mystic. You too? She seems like such a kind person. And I'm really glad she is, but how about we keep this between us girls, all right? Don't go telling Matt too much. What? Why not? Uh, how do I put this? He's a little overprotective of you. I want to make sure he can be pals with Mystic too, so let's not give him any reason to be suspicious of our new neighbor. Um, I mean, she's not his property. Yes, I understand. This is weird. I've got red flags. Yeah, I, re I remembered having issues with with the brother. I don't think his name was Matthew in the last game, though. I feel like I would have remembered that. All right, milky soup. I think I just bring it to the bulletin board. Let me see. No new requests. Oh, no, I guess I have to give it to him. Okay, uh, he's the scientist guy, which... I don't know where that is. This is... what? What's his name? No answer. I'm terrible at names. I think that's Nami down there. Do you know where you'd end up if you cross the ocean here? It's okay if you don't. Not knowing is more fun anyway. Then you can use your imagination to try and picture what's there. Would you like a flower? You sure you aren't taking the whole living off the land thing too seriously? Well, you can't eat flowers. And if you're thinking about it, don't. Oh, so she doesn't like... Maybe they don't let you give flowers to people if they don't like them, or give gifts to keep people if they don't like them. All right, here's Gordy's house. I just have to find him. Gee, it's, where's your door, dude? Here it is. Oh, he must be home. Yo, you're that farmer, right? The name's Gordy. I make art out of metal. 
Okay, so here is your soup. Need something? I'm here about your request. Oh, I don't have to show it to him? Okay. Thanks for going all the trouble. I appreciate it. Here, have this as a thank you. Cool, more seeds. Later. Oh. What's up? Uh, nothing. Oh, wait. Um, do you perhaps like flowers? Uh -huh. Oh, is that for me? Sure. Sorry, not right now. Maybe some other time, though. Oh, shoot. Maybe he doesn't like flowers? What have I done? Oh, wait. I just noticed. My bag is huge. I can fit some. I can fit a ton of stuff. Wait, are these watermelon seeds? Can I plant those right now? Spring to summer. I can. So I might go do that. All right. So we met Gordy. I don't have any tomatoes to give to Cecilia. What is this? Or maybe that just is his house sign. All right. Let's see who else we can talk to. Yeah, so the last time I played this in the original game, Lumine or Lumina? Lumina was not a romanceable character. Um, she got added, I think it was Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life for Girl? No. They they made like a, oh no, I think it was like the PlayStation version of this because they did come out with this on the PlayStation later on. I only ever played it on was it GameCube? Was this a GameCube game or was this a Nintendo 64 game? Oh shoot, I don't remember. I think it was GameCube. Kitty! The Villa Cat is adorable, but you can't take it outside with you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to put you down. There you go. I have a Siamese cat. Let's see if I can find anyone. No answer. I heard a door. Oh, I just missed her. Where'd she go? She was just here. Oh, this is her room. Hello? Why, hello there, sweetie. You're more than welcome to visit whenever you find yourself with time to spare. Ah, you are the valley's newest resident, Mystic. Yes? Managing a farm is sure to be taxing, but I wish you the success in your this <laughs> success in your travails. For my part, I shall endeavor to serve Mistress Romana in the best of my ability. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's just the other side. Well, where the heck did Lumine go? I keep calling her Lumine. That's the name of the main character in Genshin Impact. I'll get there eventually. There she is. Ah, Mystic, how do you do? I'm good. Do you... Forgotten Valley is a charming little place, is it not? Everyone here is so unique. Wait, hold up. I've got something for you. Do you like flowers? Oh, I simply love what you have there. I would hate to presume, but is that for me? Of course. Yes, I mean... Oh, what a thoughtful gift. Thank you. Okay. I think I talked to a good number of people. I still haven't seen a couple of the other batch. No, I think I met all the bachelorettes at this point. I just haven't met Gustavo. Gustavo? Is that his name? That name sounds familiar for some reason. That might be his name. Let's see. Whose house is this? Oh my gosh, that's right. They're the gym people. Oh, Mystic, is your farm doing well? If you ever end up with a dairy surplus, I'll gladly take any milk. Here's a little boy. Oh, you're that person from the farm. He's so cute. I love that they're like gym rats. Oh, I'm tired. What? It's nine o'clock. Although I do wake up at 5 a.m. So I guess I can see why that's a problem. All right. Look at her, she's so cute. Oh, you're that new farmer, aren't you? My husband Gary and I are getting on in years, you see, so we've decided to savor the time we have left by staying here in Forgotten Valley. There's the husband. Watch. <laughs> what, who are you? Oh, Mystic, right, the, new, the one Takakura mentioned. 
My wife Nina and I used to live in the city, but once we started getting on in years, we decided to move out here for a change of pace. Cool. All right, so Nami is still out there. That's rock. Um, yeah, I haven't met the musician guy. Maybe he's at his house now? Oh yeah, he is. Smells good, right? I've got some incense burning. Okay. Sure, a yurt might not be all that big, but that makes it easier to pack up and roam the world. Perfect for a guy like me. Do you like flowers? Hey, that looks nice. Is it for me? Sure. Whoa, seriously? I owe you one. I should probably sell the rest of these flowers. I just don't remember if they grow back each day. And I want to have gifts for everybody tomorrow. So maybe I will leave it for now. All right, let's head back. And I kind of want to try and plant these today. Oh yeah, I got to let my cow back in. Do I have to pet you again? I don't know. Oh, but I can milk you again, right? Man, the cows make so much milk. Okay. You can go back inside. I just don't know if I need... Because, like, she was outside for a while, so she should have had time to graze, but I'm wondering if... That can't be... Th oh, what? What? This trash bin. So where's the fodder thingy mahoos it? Is this it? Let me give you it. Can I feed you? Oh, you're not hungry? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll put it back. So I guess she did eat out there. So I can go sell this. Where is the shipping bin? Sorry if I'm spinning so much. I'm trying to figure out where I am. Okay. Nope. Shipping done. Hello? Hello? Can you let me examine you, please? Okay, and now I want to go plant these watermelon before I go to bed. Hopefully, I'm not going to pass out. I'm not quite sure. How many did I get? Wait, watermelon seeds are spring and fall, right? or spring to summer. Okay. Oh, shoot. I need the hoe. How many did I have? Five? I know it's going to look a mess, but it's fine. I got to water everything again, too. I don't remember what time I pass out. Oh, no. What if it's midnight? Shoot. What if it's midnight? Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go inside. I don't remember what time I have to go to bed. Do I have to save from here? Shoot, do I have to save from here? Please tell me you're saving. Am I dreaming about him? What's happening? Did it save? Oh. It didn't. Okay. All right. Now it's saved. Cool. So beginnings. I have to look up and see how long the first chapter is. I think it's only one year though. So I got to be careful with that. Uh, but yeah, this is the first episode of Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. I'm so happy to play this one again. This one is my all time favorite Harvest Moon game. I just remember playing it so much back in college and I'm so excited to play it again. So I'm so happy to be posting this on YouTube. I'm happy to be recording again. I've missed you all. That hiatus was way too long, but now that I'm in my new house, I can start getting things back together again. I'm also maybe going to try and stream Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town here on YouTube as well. So keep an eye out for that. I just, I'm going to probably wait until I get my desk before I do that. So another week or two and then we should be good. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time. Bye.